Okay, Labor Day weekend. It's Friday. I took the day off. And we are going camping. Right, babe? Yes, we are going camping. Yes, we are. So, we will bring you along. Who knows when this video will get shared and posted, but because <laughs> I'm so good at keeping up with my videos, but yeah, we will uh, be on our way and we're going to Wisconsin and uh, we'll show you when we get there. So we are in Galena, Illinois. I've actually been wanting to come to this place for quite a while. I drive by here in my truck quite often. Eh, sometimes often, sometimes not. But uh, I've always wanted to stop here. And since we we're passing through, and the wife's never been to Galena, right? Yeah, yeah. Correct. yeah, so I wanted to stop and see what it is. The president, Ulysses S. Grant, his home at one time, and he lived here right around the time he was president, I thought, but we'll find out. So we'll show you uh, what's what. So that's what Ulysses S. Grant looked like. General and the 18th president. Born April 27th, 1822 in Point Pleasant, Ohio. Died July 23rd, 1885. Mount McGregor, New York. And that would be his wife. Julia Dent Grant. Born 1826, died in 1902. Wow, she outlived him quite a bit. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Born in St. Louis, died in Washington, D.C. Now see, I saw this cabin from the road all the time and I was like, wow. He lived in that cabin, but apparently not. Okay. It's roped off, so I guess we can't go there. I know, I wanna go leak at him. Well. Ulysses S. Grant arrived here in 1860 to work in his father's leather store. A year later, this still obscure clerk marched off to the Civil War. In 1865, he returned in triumph as Lieutenant General of the United States Army to a gift mansion donated by his Galena neighbors. Grant was so prominent that he overshadowed the town's eight other Civil War generals. Wow. In 1869, after his election as President of the United States, Grant appointed his Galena friends, John A. Rawlins, Secretary of War, Elihu B. Washburn, Secretary of State, and Eli S. Parker, Commissioner of Indian Affairs. And they said that uh, a supply center from the, for the mines and a shipping point for the growing river commerce, Galena became a thriving city when Chicago was still just a swamp village. Very interesting. I think we're parked in the overflow parking, but that's okay, it works out good with the camper. It says there's still houses standing here from like the 1850s. Ooh, that was a slippery spot. <laughs> These Converse All Stars do not, uh, yeah, they don't have a lot of traction. Oh, there's the trolley. They give you trolley rides through Galena. How cool! It's a pretty big house. They called it a mansion. I'm not sure it's a mansion by today's standards, but probably in the 1800s, I'm sure this was a very big house. So tours last 20 to 25, 25 to 30 minutes, start every 10 to 15 minutes. It's a cool old town. The DeSoto House Hotel. Gosh, 1857, 1863, 1858, 1851. Old Galena High School, first built 1860. Destroyed by fire in 1904, rebuilt in 1905. Galena Green Condominiums, now I assume, 1984. Public Library. And this is where we're at. Grant Home, built in 1860 by Alexander Jackson, given to U.S. Grant and family in 1865. Old Galena Waterworks Building. Cool. Oh, she's got dolls. Look at the dolls. Yeah. They all got wood burning stoves. 
So they like their own little self portraits. I guess selfies back in the day, huh? Um, totally. Look at the look at the, the yes, the picture yeah. viewer. Very cool. It is very cool. All right, I'm glad we did this. Such pretty china. Very pretty china. The dressing room. It's my uh, when I gave. Avery her coffee this morning. She finally took a good, good swig and she was like, "Yes, she goes." <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. He had a sense of humor and wanted to tease his parents. Nineteen thirty-four. On September twenty-first, nineteen eighty-eight, Jesse married Elizabeth Chapman in San Francisco. They had two children, Nellie Grant Cronin. No, so he had a Nellie. He named. Their Jesse. furniture is so cool. A lot of the furniture in this house is original, but not all of it. Like you said, how low the beds are. Yeah. Ulysses S. Grant was 5'8", I'm 5'9", and his wife was 5 foot. <laughs> Here, fine. The statue. He said who the people on the statue were, but I don't remember. <laughs> That's interesting. And that is the original table and chairs, and he stood there. Look at Abraham Lincoln had a ton of animals. So this is hard to see, but... All this shows all the president's all the pets, pets they had while in the White House? Yes, isn't that cool? Yeah, a peacock. Is that a peacock? It's a turkey. Oh, a turkey? Ponies, cats, but, oh, elephants? Is that yeah. a, no. Yeah, elephants, two bald eagles. Wow. Huh. Two tiger cubs. I like this guy. John Quincy Adams had an alligator. He must have stayed like in the picture in the, in the bathroom. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. God, look at all the animals. This one. Is that one part theater? See, now that's the guy that he used to go hunting. Like for a lion. Oh, he's got a hyena? Holy yeah. smokes. Yangika, general and judge. Ponies, Algonquin and Fidelity. Cats, Tom Quartz and Slippers. <laughs> oh my God. Terriers, Pete, Skip, Jack, and Peter. Clown. Black Jack Jem and Susan, Pekingese, Manchu, St. Bernard Roly, Retriever, uh, Garter Sarah Snake, Bay. it had a Emily. Garter Snake, yeah, named Emily Spinach, <laughs> a pig, Maud, a badger, Josiah, Josiah, Guinea Pigs, Dewey, oh, Senior, a lot. Dewey Jr., Bob Evans, <laughs> Bob Evans, a macaw, Bishop Dean, and Father O'Grady, Ellie Yale is the macaw, a, a rat, rat was Jonathan, Jonathan, a hen, a hen. Rooster, lion, hyena, wildcat, coyote, five, five bears, bears, zebra, zebra owl, owl, lizards, raccoon, squirrel, and parrots. Woof. All of that wow. was Theodore Roosevelt's animals. <laughs> that's wow, awesome. I'm impressed. Yeah, this guy too. Girl. Oh, that's a girl. Calvin Coolidge. Coolidge. So that must oh, be his wife. wife. I'm thinking. Or the caretaker. That's a lot of animals. No, that's Mrs. Coolidge with one of her raccoons. That's a hippo. They had a hippo. Oh. Herbert they had Hoover. white collies, terriers, Shetland sheepdog, <laughs> Shetland sheepdog, collies, chows, bulldog, German shepherd named the King Cole, bird dog, raccoons, donkey, canaries, goose, bobcat, cats, lion cubs, pygmy hippo, and a wallaby, a duke here, and a black bear. Ronald Reagan had. Look at all the stuff Ronald Reagan had. Horses, dogs. Well, he had normal cat. animals. He had normal animals. Yeah. Horses, dogs, and cats. George Bush. Not raccoons and bears. Had two, two dogs. Hyenas. Bill Clinton had a cat and a dog. The other Bush, the SCR, a different Bush. Oh, he had a steer. Wow. That's interesting. You know the people by their animals. Yeah. Obama. And then Trump didn't have any. Wow. So Grant had all of that. Roosters and horses. Somebody's got to pick that horse up. It fell over. <laughs> This is a really cool place. So if you're ever, it's five bucks. If you're ever passing through Galena, take the tour. It's short and sweet, but half the furniture, a lot of the furniture is original. The dining room table and all the uh, china and stuff is original. The, the, the president sat at the head of the table in that very chair. So yeah, it's really cool. Very cool, it's worth the five bucks. They've been, how long did they say? They've been giving tours in this house 
For a hundred and hundred and over a hundred years. Yes. Yeah. These are all the, so. the rocks with the presidents and their um, wives. Oh. A racket. Trump Thank coming you. soon. Wow. It's not a very good rendition of Jimmy Carter. Of course it's a rock. I guess it would be kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> There's Nixon. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. Bush, goes, Clinton. Goes, yep. The other Bush, and then I'd say some no, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? Well, that's really cool. That is super cool. Yeah. George Washington's China. He was president in 1789, 1797. I suppose he lived 1732 to 1799. Wow, he died two years after uh, his, his presidency. His wife, Martha, 1731 to 1802. Wow. Oh, she married a younger man. <laughs> 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 the third president, seventh president, Andrew Jackson, Rachel Jackson. Oh, look at that. That's Abraham Lincoln's China. Wow, is that so cool? James Buchanan, Polk, the 18th president, which would be here, Julia Dent and Ulysses S. Grant, very pretty China. 14th president, Franklin Pierce, 13th president, Millard Fillmore, never heard of him. <laughs> I should know that, but I have never heard of him. <laughs> it's not a, a famous one that you recognize. The fifth president, right? James Monroe, heard of that one. James Madison, eh, sort of. Uh, Taylor. Zachary Taylor, kind of heard of that one. John Quincy Adams, definitely heard of that one. Benjamin Harrison, uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> cool China though. Yeah. Wow. Too bad I didn't know a little more about our presidents. See, I'd never be able to name off all our presidents because I have no idea. So, there you go. That is Ulysses S. Grant's home. It was donated to the family by a group of investors. here in Galena after he served in the Civil War before he became president. He is now buried in New York and she is buried in Washington DC, right? She died in Washington. She died in Washington. So Maybe she is with him then. I don't know. Look at this brick sidewalks and stuff. That is the cross and house. Wow, there's some really neat stuff here. My goodness. How cool. To be in the same house, sitting in the same room as Ulysses S. Grant and family dined yeah. in their dining room. Yeah, it's really cool. Yes, it is. So we found out about the, the cabin down here. And it actually has nothing at all to do with the Grants. But they were going to tear it down from, where do you say, Elizabeth, right? Elizabeth, yeah. We drove through Elizabeth a little bit ago. It's a cute little town. Uh, they were going to tear this cabin down. And they saved it and moved it here and set but it down they there. Did it's so yes, cute. eight people lived in that cabin. Eight people in this little cabin, which you can't see because the trees are in the way. Eight people. I guess there's an upstairs. Looks like maybe eight people lived in that cabin down in Elizabeth, Illinois, which is just down the road from here. Down the road a piece. Yeah, down a road a piece. I reckon. That's so cool. That is totally awesome. He didn't say when it was from or anything, but... No, but there's that little bed in there I saw. Oh, yeah. So I, I hope that they open that. And, yeah, know. that would be cool. It's been there since I've been driving by here. Okay. Like you said, so silly me, originally, every time I saw the sign that said Grant's home, I yeah. saw that cabin and I was like, wow, that was the Grant's home? No, <laughs> <laughs> that's You're the not. Grant's home. <laughs> but that's okay. Live and learn, and I got the tour. Look at that building. It's got like a tower on the roof. I wish sure I could does. zoom in. Wow. That's really cool. Man, there's some awesome buildings in this town. Okay, church. Yeah, I'd like to come back and actually maybe spend a weekend here sometime. Lots of history here. So, cool. We're gonna do a lap through town. Probably get the hell out of here because we gotta go check in at our campground. I wouldn't want to be this guy driving through the, the detour. Because you can't come down the hill. You gotta go around. I did this detour in my truck a while back. So it's one way. Confused. Yeah, that's two way street. This is the one way street. So I guess we'll go. This one. Truck around park. The DeSoto.
Soto Hotel is up here. What? Never mind, they parked it right. I was like, they're backing up. Oh. <laughs> Galena River Wine and Cheese. Oh, wine and Cheese. I've been cheese. through here once. Coffee? A long time ago, yeah. You want some? No. I do. Oh, yeah. I want a latte. I don't know why I have a taste for a latte lately. I don't think I've had any. I'll have to find some foo foo coffee places. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at There's all the trolleys. Yep. The trolley depot. That would be cool. That would be kind of fun, Haunted I guess. Haunted, Haunted Galena. Haunted Galena. Oh, really? Yes. No. Oh, where? That sign says oh, Haunted Galena. I missed it. We'll do so the Haunted Galena. So maybe that, that place that I said, the DeSoto. Yes. You have to look that up. Right there. Is that, that's it right there, right? Yeah, the DeSoto house. No wonder why it's a Haunted That's the De DeSoto house. I think so. I don't know. But the DeSoto house, I, I want to say it was on TV as a haunted something. I bet the river's right over that hill. Wow, this is. Stop, stop, stop. Oh stop. my god! Thank you. Oh. You got a. Oh. Yeah, oh my god! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been on video, so we could have proved it. <laughs> I started to sing an opera note. <laughs> I don't sing. Wow. This is like the industrial part. This isn't where I was expecting to go. <laughs> no, we thought we were no. the Yeah, we thought we were going through downtown where all the shops were at, not the no, industrial wrong area way. of Galena, which is where all the parking appears to be. Of course, we're not doing one. People are following me. They're going, where are we going? Yeah, pretty much. Yep. You followed us. Cool. That's your problem. Building stuff. <laughs> There's the blacksmith shop. A bomb would be uh, all Happy. excited, yeah. <laughs> If we stayed there, we can walk all around this place, see all the cool. That would be cool. Wouldn't it be? Yeah, yeah, we'll have to do that. Definitely have to do that. We'll have to Google the Soto House and see what it is, especially if it's haunted. Oh, look at that eatery and lounge. Now look at that old Ford Rat Rod. Oh yeah, this kind of like, uh, kind of like Jerome. I was just gonna say. Just Jerome's in the mountains. Of course, this is in the hills and. This actually, there's, yeah, it's, it's very similar actually. Wow, very busy. Of course, it's a holiday weekend, so. Oh, look, dude's playing the, <laughs> yes, Nick party. There's the Galena Ghost Tours. Cool. Place. Let's do it. Stay at the DeSoto house and do the ghost tours. Nice. Heck yeah. All right, we got a weekend. Hey, we can take up two spots. Actually, we're coming off camper. Yes. Gabby's Gifts. Country Crafts and Sports. Galena Canning Company. I wonder what, like, veggies and that kind of stuff? Hot apple cider. Oh. Hot apple Gourmet cider Gourmet gift donuts. baskets. Oh, boy, Sheila would wet herself. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, there's a big uphill. So it is. It's a lot like Jerome. Very similar to Jerome, actually. Yeah, this is a cool. Very cool. I have another popcorn place, unless that's the same. Yeah, that was the back of the popcorn place. Yeah. Wow, it gets skinny. Log cabin, fine food and cocktails. I don't see a log cabin though. Me neither. That should be the brick building. Fine food. Right? The Dowling House? What do you suppose the Dowling House is? I don't know. Interesting. Shipping and dining continue. Shopping and dining continue. <laughs> Chicago style pizza and sports bar. The Razzle Dazzle. Wow. Galena Brewing Company. Oh, let's go. Get 
get a flight. Okay, we're definitely handcrafted beers, food tours, and live music. Bean bean roasters? Roosters. Roasters. Oh. We'll roast coffee. Roast, yeah, Let coffee. Eat people. Yes. Maybe. Your foofy coffee. Maybe. So we just filled up, almost forgot to get water, backed in, started love on the camper. I went, oh wait, we need water. So that's like the day use area, there's like pavilion and swing sets and a dock, probably a boat launch maybe. That is the mighty Mississippi River, so exciting. There's a barge. Oh, there is a barge. And we go right back to our spot. Maybe I can back back up onto the ramp again. <laughs> Look how close we are to the river though. There's our spot. There's the river. Very exciting. Very exciting. It's too windy to set our mat down right now. We got our table. We didn't set it up. Camper set up. Check it out. It's got a grill. Plus a fire pit with a grill top on it. A nice picnic table, really nice picnic table, and concrete, and level, barely even needed. I, I could have not had that in there, but I decided I would just chalk the wheel. And our view of the Mississippi River from our spot. I picked this spot so we could sit on the patio and look at the river. I booked this spot six months ago so that I make sure I can get a, a decent spot. We're gonna go check in because the guy wasn't here yet. So, go we'll check in and uh, wow, driftwood on the roof of his car. Interesting. Oh, Florida. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go check in. The hours are five to eight. Wow, that's a big fifth wheel, too. Look at that view. How pretty. Very. Yeah. I'll take it. Yep. That's a nice tent they got. Yep. Sorry, you're supposed to be on the inside. Yep. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That looks like the one that showed up in Michigan. Right? Hello. It's a homemade. Yep. How cool. God, that looks just like the one that showed up. <laughs> look at that. How awesome is that? Very awesome. Yeah. There's the potty house. Showers. Okay. Yep. Yes. Potty house, not shower. Yeah. No. I <laughs> But there's water over there. Water over there. Ugh. Marshy. Yeah, waiting for the barges to come by. We saw one earlier. The trains have gone by, too. Like every, I don't know, half hour maybe? Something. Yeah. They had some nice playgrounds. Basketball court over there, nice pavilion, uh, dump station. And train tracks are right there. And because it's a crossing, you have to blow the horn. So. They do, but it's actually, wow, look at that house. Way back there. Big ass. Is that the one we looked at? That's the one we looked at. That's when I said this is close to a log cabin, but it's not. Wow, what a cool campground. I like it here. I think we could come back here. I couldn't see the big house on, oh, on the top? Yeah, look at that. Where, right there? Where are you looking? Right there? That's a house? Oh, okay. Well, or it's, uh, something. It looked like a clearing with some trees, but yeah, that's probably the camp post. Oh, park attendance is right there. That's it? Yep. Maybe that's the person that just drove by because they got driftwood there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna go check in. Bathrooms. Nice. Clean. Pretty clean. Is that one or two showers? Dig it. Sweet. 
So, if you're into reading, this little free library is probably sponsored by Nancy Ames in memory of her husband, Jerry. Aw. Littlefreelibrary.org. Take a book, return a book. So if you come here and you want to read, bring a book. If you have an old book and you want to try a different book, there you go. Look at that. It's, it's, yeah. Well, I guess you could almost, man, because that's a boat launch. I'm not sure how you would launch a boat here. But. Oh, is that pretty or what? The sun on the river? Oh, there's a big piece of driftwood down there. Lots of driftwood. Yeah. Wow, lots of driftwood, actually. Yeah. I wonder if this floods, or how much this floods. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. Army Corps of Engineers campground. They have nice campgrounds from what I've seen. Oh, more people rolling in. She said they're book solid. I tried to get some people to come camping with us. There were some empty spots left. Nobody wanted to do it. We're gonna go sit on the bench and enjoy the lake or the river for a minute. Yep. That's not so bad. I was a little worried about the trains, but actually that's very much tolerable. And if you like trains, hey, it's cool, you got trains. Burgers, bacon, cheddar, and we put Swiss cheese. <laughs> and brats, cheddar brats. Mm. Nathan's pickles, we decided to try these not too long ago, and they're actually really tasty. I'm really liking them. Cooked over the fire with the grill on the fire. A little buggy tonight, but that's okay. Got our citronella candle going. Got our Topo Chico hard seltzer margaritas. Pretty tasty, I'll tell you. We're gonna eat our dinner. Mm. We're gonna make bacon, but we didn't tomorrow. Oh we'll my make it. Yeah, so, there we go. Make the neighborhood smell good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I turned you on, GoPro, uh, on accident. I was trying to clean up. <laughs> she said GoPro and it turned on. <laughs> I didn't know that was so easy to do. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> Just say your name and yeah. turn you on. Mm -hmm. Wow, impressive. You know, maybe you should record that moon. I don't know if you can get it, but no. it is it pretty. It won't, and the trees are in the way. It's a very cool moon. It's not even a full moon. I know, and it's just shining off the water so beautifully. Oh, it's, it's quite awesome. We took photos. But there's your ambiance. Actually, you don't even hear the crackle, but shh. Silence. It's a wonderful thing. GoPro turn off. GoPro stop. GoPro quit recording?